hi, this is Bill. So uh, a lot of my students has asked me to basically demonstrate on how to create a link of our GitHub repository and service now. So there's been a couple of challenges uh, regarding how to connect between the two applications. And uh, the first step basically is to, um, of course you have, uh, I'm assuming you already have a GitHub account and and you have a repository created. So um, for simplicity, this, this um, GitHub, I created it for uh, demo purposes, right? So um, let us um, create a new repository. So let's say um, ServiceNow integration, right? So just for simplicity, now let's create that. Now after creating that um, repository, so we need to create a token that a user that will access GitHub has the rights to read or get or create um, branches over GitHub from ServiceNow. So um, the way to do it is go to the icon there where your username is written, right? Go to settings. And uh, on the top, on, on the left, I mean, go to developer settings, right? And move to personal access tokens. Use a token classic, right? And from here, you will be needing to generate a new token. Right, so upon generating a token, right, it will ask for a node, right? So let's say our service now integration, dash integration. So in this example, I will just leave it as default for like 30 days. And I'm going to give it um, repo, right? So I'm giving it status deployment and so on, right? Depending on your needs, right? But on this example, we're just going to get, um, the linkage successful, right? So on this rights, it will allow you to do this um, activities written in this description, right? So now let's um, scroll down and now generate the token. Now the common mistakes here is, is um, instead of um, using your GitHub password, right? And in conjunction, the username that uh, is written here on the GitHub account, Right, so you will be using this password to create a connection between the two. So let me show you how it's done. So um, after going to um, connection, right, or credentials, connection and credentials. So uh, let's scroll down. So uh, let's go to credentials and let's create a new one. I'm pretty much sure I pressed it. So let me do that again. This has been some delays. There we go. And choose basic authentication credentials. And um, let us, um, because I have tested quite a few, right? So let me just um, name it as new or latest, right? So, so now, um, I'm going to make sure that I copied the um, token, paste it correctly, right? And the username, what I have right now is this one, All right? So let's do that. And um, I will now save it. Now we could now directly to the studio, right? Go to source control um link to source control right so we need to go back and get the url so um to be able to do that so we need to go to the correct repository so this is the repository that we just created copy the url right and um, paste it here and the credentials so um, so we actually created github dash new and uh, we could keep the branch, right? So basically you are creating a new branch over GitHub, right? So let's um, probably, let's name it as something else. So I may have some conflict already. So um, let's say um, 
latest service now latest right and um link to source control now after creating those steps right and um it will not take long for the linkage is successful and as we um go back to the repository right and um let's do a refresh and you will see that we have successfully created a branch. Well, thank you so much for watching this channel. So I hope I have helped a lot of um, developers who are starting with Git. And, um, I, and if you have any challenges, let me know. And I'm here to help you out. Thank you.